finally, 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 after 72 days, 72 agonising days, we have got a manager. Now, that manager is Nuno Espirisanto. Jose Mourinho 2.0, they are calling him. Now, listen, this is probably one of the most underwhelming appointments you are going to see. We have been linked with the Godfather Conte, the Godfather Mancini, Gattuso, the Italian Fug, um, Brendan Rodgers, Mauricio Pochettino, Potter, um, the names, you know, Deitch. I've heard Francesca. We have heard so many names and we have settled with Nuno Espiro Santo. Now that he's the manager, I will get behind him and I will back him. It will be interesting to see how he performs alongside um, Pario, uh, Fabio Paratici, our new director of football. They, they get on well. They both want the same thing. They both want a back three. But it's just so underwhelming. We were this close. To sign in Conte, you just had to give him the staff he wanted and give him the wages he wanted. An elite level coach that has won a Serie A title with Inter Milan. And instead, we have gone and we have appointed Nuno Espirito Santo, who did actually quite well with Wolves. He took over Wolves and they were in the Championship, I believe. Got them to two seventh place finishes, got them to the quarter final of the Europa League. He brought through players like Ruben Neves, Juan Martino, um, Adama Traore he developed. Uh, Neto, he, he's developed a lot of players, but it's very underwhelming when you look at what we could have had. We've basically walked into a Lamborghini garage and walked out of a Peugeot 207. It's very, very underwhelming, but listen, we have to get behind him. We have to back him. We have to do what we can. Um, welcome Nuno is a trending hashtag all over Twitter. But for me, I just feel that this is, you know, it's, it's very underwhelming. Um, but listen, we move on. Um, Pre-season starts soon We're linked with a lot of players Tommy Yasu, a Japanese right back Who can play right back, centre back and even left back Plays his football over in Bologna We bidded around 15 million for him um, Paratici is a fan of him And I believe uh, Nuno has approved the signing We're also in for Kuyunde Who is a French uh, defender 5'10", plays for Sevilla A very good one Also we're obviously going to be linked with Milan Skriniar But you know this will be interesting to see how, what can he do to persuade Harry Kane to stay at the football club? He's got a lot of problems. Can he persuade Deli Alli to, to re revitalise his form that he had two or three years ago? Because the, the way he's been playing recently has been absolute dog shit. The last couple of years, he's been embarrassing. He's been all about his branding and Fortnite. You know, you've, you've played Fortnite more times in the last couple of years and you've put it in the back of the net. I don't, I don't get all this Deli Alli hype just because he can do a couple of celebrations. I can do it too. But listen, Nuno is here. We move on. We'll get behind him. We'll back him. And then we'll just go from there. But I just think it's very underwhelming. But listen, the next couple of weeks, we've got, you know, the Euros finishes next Sunday on the 11th. And then after that, you've got two or three massive weeks trying to persuade Harry Kane to start the football club, trying to sign players who he thinks Harry Kane is good enough for him to play alongside. Because if we keep the likes of Winks and Dyer, I tell you now, this is going to get even worse. We'll end up finishing where, where Wolves were last year, 12th. I give it 12 to 15 months and Nuno will be out the door. Harry Kane will be out the door. You've got Son's contract. I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm trying to look at it from an overall um, perspective. I just think it's very underwhelming. But listen, we'll get behind him. We'll cheer him on. We'll sing King Nuno. Um, 2.0 Jose, whatever you want to nickname him. But listen, we're so close to 2.4k subs. Around 15, 16 subscribers away. All you've got to do is hit that subscribe button. It massively helps me out. It'll be a small milestone checked off. And make sure you do smash the like button. I'll be back in the next couple of days. I'll be back streaming as well. I've got a few problems with my internet that need to be sorted out. And I'll be back streaming. So make sure you do hit the subscribe button. And you do stay tuned. We've got a lot more content coming. But for now, guys, I'm out.